Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be answering all the questions you guys left in the comments of the 2000 subscriber Q&A um, comment section and also on Twitter and Instagram. Gather them all and we're going to go ahead and answer each and every one of them. So guys, anyone who's left uh, a comment uh, either on Twitter, or Instagram or YouTube, thank you very much and we'll get through them right now. So let's kick it off. Boy, Ted and Steven both asked what made me start YouTube and also Ted asking what I think about Black Ops 4. Let's get the most important thing, why did I start YouTube? Um, back in October 2016, I didn't have a YouTube account or nothing. Um, of course I knew what YouTube was, I wasn't that much of a noob. But I was playing Black Ops 3 one day and I was on the top page of Hardcore Kill Confirmed. And I noticed someone who had a very, very high score for a minute called YouTube Korean, the Korean Savage. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead, check this guy out, I did. Um, check this channel out, really enjoyed his videos. I then followed him on Twitter, and anytime he live streamed, I would watch him through Twitter. I still didn't have a YouTube uh, YouTube account, so I was never in the chat, you know, I just kinda looked there. Um, and then a couple months later, I think it was the start of 2017, I was like, you know what, I wanna get more interactive and more into this. Um, so I created my YouTube page and continued to watch them, found other people as well, um, the likes of the Market Hero and stuff. Um, and these guys just, you know, I really enjoyed watching them. So then it was, it was in the summer and, you know, Kareem was always saying, um, you know, if you game a lot and you enjoy it, you know, stream because you never know what might happen. So that got me thinking, I'm going to start my own channel uh, and that pretty much is how the channel started. So K3 was pretty much my inspiration and I still watch him to this day. He's about to hit 1 million subscribers, which is to watch him go from 10k to 1 million is, is absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, that's how we started. And going on to the other question about Black Ops 4. I love Black Ops 4, but everyone knows they made an update like a week ago and the game hasn't felt as good, uh, hasn't felt as smooth. There's been a lot of lag issues and stuff, but hopefully we get an update um, today or tomorrow, whatever, and you know, we're back to, because the first two weeks were absolutely amazing. Specialists are really annoying. Um, at first I was like, okay, specialists are fine. Um, I actually enjoy them, but now just dying to, you know, Skill with players is, is not fun, but anyway, I do enjoy Black Ops 4. I feel that if they fix these issues and keep updating it, bring new weapons, new maps, obviously Nuke Time coming soon. Um, I think they're going to drop Blackjack, uh, Blackjack Shop soon as well. Um, this could be a really good year for Call of Duty for sure. Much better than World War 2, anyway, let's get that. Um, but on to the next one, we've got two questions here from Amit. Favourite G Fuel flavour? Boom, I'm going to show you guys right here. We have got Rainbow Sherba and Phase Bread. These are my two favourites, and guys, I've actually got a stack about. 10, 11 different flavors. Uh, if I've got a picture, I'll pop that on screen right now for you guys. But these are, these are, I definitely, definitely recommend these. Uh, gummy fish is really good as well. Um, honestly, most of you flavors are absolutely amazing and it really does work. It keep, if I take, I take like two scoops and it keeps me hyped. Um, but I'm, all, I'm also asked here, what's your worst fear? I hate heights. I don't have many fears, um, like little things like spiders and that. It doesn't really creep me out, just stand on the little things. But, um, yeah, but yeah, fears, um, I mean, yeah, it's not great. I can, I can deal with it, but it makes me uneasy, like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'd say that's probably the worst thing, but even at then, it's still not bad. I can still kind of get over it and get through it, but it doesn't, it just makes me feel so uneasy. But but yeah, on to the next one, Amit uh, also has a couple of questions here. Um, he came in with a lot of questions, so shout out to Amit, keeping me busy uh, making this video. If I was to highlight this one, if I was stranded on an island, which two players would you choose to be with you? Um, and this is pretty easy, Scump and Crim. Um we're talking about pro players here, bro. Scump and Crim all day long. I love the two of them. I've been watching them for years. As I say, I only really got into watching, uh, you know, pubs numbers like K3 like two years ago. But before then, I did. I've been watching competitive COD for quite a while. Um, but yeah, I've been stuck on a line with them too. Great life, great life. Uh, and Dream Team would obviously be Optic. Uh, I'm not just like an Optic fan, but I pretty much just follow Optic because I love Crim and Scump uh, so much. If they were to ever move to a team, which I don't think they will. Um, I would I would still follow them. There, I like other players as well. I really like Kenny. He had a great year at hundred T. I think they're going to do great things as well. Um, yeah, best COD player as well. He has, in my opinion, um, I'd have to see their Crim or Scump. I know Karma's got the uh, the most rings, but honestly, if you watch some of uh, Scump's old stuff, he's just like oh my, disgustingly good. And Crim's won the most tournaments, so definitely them two for me. But if they turn up, it's, it's game over for anyone. Um, so yeah, def definitely one of them too, bro. And favourite gun in COD ever? Oof, I'd have to... I'd have to go with the Scar H, bro. I know a lot of people like the, uh, the ACR. That might be my second. Right now the Maddox in Black Ops, so I think this might be one of my favourite guns of all time, actually, as well. But nah, the Scar, uh, the Scar H with the Heartbeat Sensor Modern Warfare 2, can you really get better than that? Can you? Um, but nah, really good questions, bro. Um, and the last one from out here, Dream Job. It would have to be... Uh, 
Good job, but they have to be doing this, man. Doing this full time would be uh, absolutely insane. Um, you know, I'm so thankful for it. We've actually just hit 2.1 thousand subscribers, so guys, I'm so thankful for that. Graham will continue, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah, moving on, guys. Moving on to the main man, the captain, the Brody, my one true love, infamous, the Brody. How much do I love you? I love you. I love you more than I love my girlfriend. <laughs> nah, I love you, bro. That would be where I am without you. I still remember you coming through my stream um, pretty much on my first ever stream and you've been here ever since supporting me, uh, helping me out with my new setup and stuff. Couldn't have done it without you. So big shout out to you, bro. I absolutely love you. And I will stick to my word, what I said the other year. We will be meeting pretty soon. Hopefully, Anaheim, we can meet up uh, and have a great weekend there, grab some drinks. Hopefully, uh, Ripley Grey and a lot of other people better hook up then as well. It'd be absolutely insane. But, bro, I love you. Um, What's my favourite gun? Uh, Tashin here asks, what's my favourite gun in Black Ops 4? Um, pretty simple, the Maddox. I think I've got, got about 40,000 kills in total, EKIA, um, in Black Ops 4, and I believe like probably like 25,000 of them are from the Maddox. So, call me a scrub if you want, but yeah, I like to use the Maddox um, probably 9 times out of 10. The ICR is good, the Titan's good, but definitely hands down in Black Ops 4, the Maddox for sure. <laughs> but Moy Monty only says, love you, Def, love you too, bro, and he says, congrats on 2K, I appreciate it, bro. Uh, what's my favourite song at the moment? See, this is weird because I don't really listen to like if you'd say like chart music and stuff. I listen to a lot of like I, I love Eminem and I, I listen to him on the daily. So um, I don't think I could actually pick one of him. So his songs, but it would have to be something of his, bro. So uh, so I can't quite answer that fully, but yeah, definitely something that from Eminem, bro, for sure. Uh, Nadine asks, when did I get my first tattoo and why? So. As I was just saying, I love Eminem, so when I was, um, I think it was 18 or 19, so going back about 4 or 5 years now, I actually got um, his Lyrics to Haley song tattooed across my back, sometimes it feels like the world's on my shoulders, right across the back, uh, top end of my shoulders, so yeah, that was my first tattoo, was it painful? No, tattoos aren't so, trust me guys. Um, what, Brady right here, my boy Brady, another one who's supported me for so long, appreciate support of Brady. Um, what's my favourite game of all time? Pretty simple, Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, it's a Call of Duty that I grinded the most, played the most. I was in that, I think it was what, maybe 15? And I was in that year of school where it was a year before my exam, so it wasn't, I don't want to say school isn't important, but it was kind of that year where um, I didn't have too many tests and stuff, so I literally, I woke up early for school, I would play for an hour before I went to school, I'd go to school and I'd come home and that's all I would do is play Call of Duty. I think I'd like, I wish it was like 46, 40, nearly 50 days uh, time played, which is still to this day is my most played um, Call of Duty. I think I might be that on Black Ops 4 just for the sake that I'm making uh, content every day, streaming every day, but I don't think anything that they bring out um, will beat Modern Warfare 2 for me, just because I have so many great memories. So, good question Brady, but yeah, definitely uh, Modern Warfare 2 guys. And now my boy Gray, my boy Gray, Mr. 10k pretty soon, man. Congrats on 2k, I appreciate it. But what, this is a good one as well, what company would you want to be sponsored by? Um, I would either have to say, oh, G Fuel or Scuff. G Fuel, G Fuel. I mean, it'd be great to have my own Scuff, but to have your own flavour as well. Uh, I don't know, I think because I probably use it, oh, this is a tough one, my man. Um, I'd, have to, I'd have to go with G Fuel. I'd, I'd, I'd probably just, yeah, G Fuel over Scarf, I'd have to say, bro. Um, I love them both, it'd be great to be sponsored by them uh, both one day. Maybe even a little G2 Omega as well, another great uh, great company, get yourself one of them. Uh, but no, definitely one of them, bro, definitely uh, either a Scarf or G Fuel, my man. <laughs> my boy, uh, my boy Blazing, where are we going on our honeymoon? Anywhere, as long as it's with you, babe, anywhere. We can go Maldives, anywhere you want. Just, just a bedroom is fine, but I love you as well. Saggy Old Grand, I'm a man with a legendary name out here. Um, how long have you been playing Call of Duty and what got to the start of this? I've been playing Call of Duty for 11 years now, I think. I started back in Call of Duty 4. Um, at that time, obviously, it was back on the PlayStation 3. I didn't actually own my own PlayStation 3, um, but I played a lot um, with my friends and stuff after school, going to their house and stuff. So I still played the game a lot. Uh, I then got a PlayStation um, just before World at War came out. Um, so that was, World at War was kind of the first game that I. It was when I fell in love with Call of Duty. It's always loved World at War for that, uh, you know, for that reason because I played it so much on my own PlayStation. I play every day, and yeah, so I've been playing COD for a long time, pretty much since when multiplayer came out in Call of Duty. Um, and obviously, COD Four was big, and then we got Modern Warfare Two and World at War and stuff. So yeah, I've been playing pretty much. I'm a, I'm a day one OG near enough. I actually I actually played the uh, on the PSP. I think it was called was it Roads Roads to Glory. Something like that. It was a PSP Call of Duty game. I even played that as well. That's how much I loved Call of Duty. Um, 
back in the day as well, guys. Okay, so how I'd ask drop Sean or jump Sean? Uh, before you try, before you say jump Sean, try stop. I think it depends on the situation you're in, man. I used to play before I started using a scuff um, and mark or something this year. I played with a, like obviously I've just said, I've been playing COD for a long time. Always played with a regular controller up until uh, around my birthday in March, April there. Um, and I was always more a jump shot, man. I never really did a jump shot because I always played stick and move, man. So obviously with the analog, I was jumping. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd say jump shot more, but honestly, if you're meaning what is more effective, it really depends on your situation. I think like last year in World War Two, I, I drop shot a lot as well. Um, so I think it just depends on the situation. Like if I'm going around the corner and um, Black Ops Four, I'll probably jump shot. Um, but honestly, it really just depends. Sometimes I don't. Even, I don't think it helps you all the time. Uh, as I say on my streams and stuff, people overdo it with the jump shot and they're literally bunny hopping around the map. Um, but yeah, a good question, man. But honestly, really, it depends on the situation. And obviously, how you play, what uh, what layout you play as well on the controller, bro. Um, but bum bum bum. We've got we've got my boy a legend here. Was Legend good at IW and why? This man was a god at IW. He still plays IW 24 hours a day. Trust me, he, he's still in that. He ditched Black Ops 4. He's still playing Fortnite. My man is still a god at IW. Though. This man is called Mr. Advanced UAV for a reason. Um, but nah, Le Legend's a really good player. We, we hooked up a couple of times. I think we actually played against each other in a private game, like a 2v2 or something like that as well. Um, and it was a good laugh. But nah, he's a solid player. And bro, get back on Black Ops 4, man. Yo, my boy Zombo, Mr. Snipes, man, Mr. Snipes, let me see them feeds. Deserve it all. Uh, how many minions do I have in my house? Okay, so, oh, I have in the garage, number one, I have a big massive balloon in the garage. I also have a balloon in the house. I have slippers, so you can count that as two, because there's a minion on each. I have a minion mug. Um, oh, should I tell you? I have minion, my girlfriend bought me these, so don't judge. I have minion pajamas. Um... Uh, I think that may be it, bro. Six, six minions in the house right now. I really want to get like a giant life, that life size teddy, but you know, one, one day that dream will come true. Um, so probably at least six minions in the house, bro. Good question, my man. Uh, my boy, my boy Kaz Tech, who I've known for such a long time. Yo, love you, bro. I love you, man. Does pineapple belong on pizza? No. No. I, if you put pineapple on pizza, just unsubscribe, you know, just block me, you know. nah, I'm joking guys, I mean, if you if you like it, it's your thing, but for me, it doesn't belong on pizza, I'm more of a, like, a meat feast man myself, but yeah, definitely 100% does not belong on pizza. Right, my boy, uh, my boy Kirby here asks, what editing software do you use? Also, congrats on 2K, again guys, thank you, it's, it's all down to you guys that hit 2K, so thank you so much. Uh, I use Movie Premiere, um, it's a type of a, a Vegas uh, software, bro. It, it's really good, you know. It, it does the basics, and there's a lot of there's a lot of features I haven't quite got to yet. I can't, you know, I know the basics and stuff, but there's a lot you can do. Um, so yeah, it's really good. Um, but there's plenty out there, bro. If you're you know if you're wondering yourself what to get, there is just do your research on what kind of edit you want to do. There's there's loads out there. There's, there's even free. Um, when when I first started YouTube, I was using a I was using my sister's iMac because I didn't have my own laptop laptop or PC. Um, losing my words here, guys. But yeah, I used iMovie, and honestly, if you've got a like a MacBook or um, no, Mac computer, iMovie is free and it does all the basics brilliantly. I, I actually do miss iMovie to be honest because it was so simple um, and you could do really nice things with it as well so um, definitely iMovie is for me is is up there um, considering it's free and a lot of these uh, you know Vegas can cost hundreds and hundreds so it really just depends on your budget and what you want to do bro but plenty out there man plenty out there and here's a good one my boy my boy Sani easy questions that ass or dentized? That ass bro that ass your ass <laughs> but yeah, ass bro. Um, my boy, my boy, what another OG man who's an absolute legend, absolute legend, absolute god on that switch. Um, uh, am I dating anyone or am I single? I I have got a girlfriend, bro. But you know, we can. I I, I told you, hit that hundred k, I'll take you on a date, man, hundred percent. He also asks how many tattoos do I have and how many do I plan on getting. Okay, so as I said earlier, I've got the one on my back. Um, I've got my full sleeve here, um, which you guys can check out on Instagram if you do follow me. Um check it all out. Um, that, that's obviously the sleeve's my number one uh, um, favourite for sure. Uh, and I've got anyone who's been here long enough will know the story about the tattoo of my ass. Um, so yeah, I've got, if you want to count that as three, you can, but a full sleeve, you know, I've got in, I've got about five or six different things on there. The one on my back, one on my ass, so it depends how you want to count them, bro. Um, but yeah, I do plan on getting more. I really want my full back. Then I actually want like a like a war slash Call of Duty piece, you know, some of the, uh, maybe the most iconic moments from Call of Duty all put into 
my hash down to one uh, on my back, I think it'd be insane. I really want my back and my leg done as well. Um, people know I dressed up as Lewis Hamilton and the like for Halloween, got an obsession with him. Eh, obsession with him. I really want to get a nice portrait of him. Uh, I really would love to get that tattooed on my back and leg, but everyone knows tattoos aren't cheap and you know, I'm just at that age right now, I need to uh, put money to better use. But definitely in the future, I plan on getting uh, my back done, possibly my leg, but right now I'm happy with what I got. Um, my sleep is pretty new, I've only had that a year or two now, so definitely plan on getting more, bro, for sure. Uh, McDoyle Diet asks, what, what is my least favourite COD and why? Hard one. World War 2, bro. World War 2 was the worst COD, hands down. I didn't like Advanced Warfare because I was trash yet, but that game, Advanced Warfare, at least, was still fun, even being trash. But World War 2 last year, the only thing that kept me going and playing, guys, was you. Um, seriously, if, if I didn't stream or, you know, do YouTube, I would... I don't know what I would be playing, um, to be honest, because World War 2 was hellish. It started off, I mean, there was issues with servers and stuff. It wasn't a great start. I still enjoyed it for the first month because it was fresh. I was grinding prestige and stuff. But, you know, things like requisitions and fire shotguns, fire shotguns, requisition, fire shotguns, riot shields. Yeah, that's enough. Eh? But, yeah, World War 2, bro, and congrats on the two kids ever. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it, man. Um, but guys, that is all the questions. Um, I know a lot of people ask some of the same questions, so different. Uh, I've been getting rid of them. That's why there was a lot of questions that were basically the same. Um, but try to pretty much answer them all there. But guys, if you did submit a question, we would appreciate. It. I hope you guys did enjoy the Q and A. Something a bit different. Um, hopefully you didn't get too bored listening to my Scottish accent for too long. But guys, I appreciate it all. If you haven't already, sure to drop a like on the video. If you are brand new, subscribe. Turn on notifications, guys. Until next one, peace.